Hey guys, welcome to Epic Coding for Everyone channel. What will you learn from this video? Promise, getters and setters. Let's start coding. We will have a look at promises in JavaScript. I am going to use promise object for it. Promise object is going to take one parameter which is a function. So I will create a function in promise object to pass two parameters. Let's start it. Let give promise. We are creating a variable. You can assign any name you want. And new promise. We use promise object for it. And our barracks. And we are going to create a function in promise object. And that function is going to have two parameters. I'm going to create function with ES6 version. We will use ES6 version function style in our future tutorials. Now I need to add another barracks and I need to put parameter here, pass and fail. You can assign any name you want. And then I also need to use arrow like this and curly braces. Let me make it wider. This is ES6 version of creating a function. Let me copy and paste here. Yeah. If you want to use previous version of creating function, you just need to remove that one and add in function here. Let me make it wider. So ES6 just removed that one and add an arrow here and that's all. Let me get it back and let me comment them out. And I want to cut and paste here and let's continue our promise. I need to create another variable. Let's say let a3 and I'm going to use a if statement if a equal equal three curly braces pass that pass is coming from here which is our pass parameter and our message let's say success and semicolon else fail and our message fails and semicolon that fail is coming from here you can assign any name you want and let's call that promise let me get it up give promise then barracks and another barracks result you can assign any name you want here too and arrow so we are creating another function here as you see console log Let's say result message is result and semicolon. So we are going to pass one of our message to the result parameter and display our message accordingly. And catch, catch is going to display failed message and another box then result and arrow and curly braces and console log result message is plus result and semicolon let's save it and have a look at it you see guys our result message is success let's change value of a variable let's say 5 and let's save it and have a look at it you see guys our message is failed because a doesn't equal to 3 we are going to use that promise in our feature tutorial that's all for now thank you so much for watching it see you in the next video